In this video, we are going to solve two Python problems related to integer data type. First problem is how we are going to combine integer with the string. And second problem is how we are going to combine integer data type with the float data type. So let's start with our first problem. Okay, so let's assign this is create a string to the string variable and to the number one, two, three, four to the number variable. Let's execute both of the cell. And now we are going to combine string data type with the number data type. So if you try to combine both of the data types, then you will going to get the type error that must be string str or not int. So as the as we already know that if you try to combine two data types, then it will not going to happen generally between the string data types and number data types. So you have to convert that number data type into a string first. So we will convert it using the string functionality, str functionality of the Python and then try again. Okay, so we have, uh, then we are not getting any errors. So we have, uh, this is great. And after that we have one, two, three, four into a single string. You can also, if you want, you can also add a uh, multiple numbers like two, three, four into uh, this is great uh, string. So we can use a for loop in which we can loop each of the numbers and we will add one by one to the this is great. So first we will add this is great two and store it into the string variable. Then in the second time, we will going to add three in the this is great two, and we can use the plus is equal to sign to add to add the number to the very uh, this is great integer in each loop. So let's execute this one. So we are going to get this is great two three forty forty five and sixty seven. In the same way, you can also use the list comprehension to add the integer with the string. So first we will assign this one here and then we will execute here. So here what we have do, we have used the range. Range will yield 1 by 1, 0 to 11, 0 to 10 numbers. And that's why we here we have to convert each number into a string so that it will be added with the string variable and we have stored it into the list okay so you can use any of the method to combine string into the integer so let's move on to our next problem how we are going to combine integer with the float so integer and float is generally a number so if you use plus sign or to combine both of them then it will going to add both of the numbers so and will give you the 24 by 45 if you add 12 as integer data type and 12.5 as a float data type also if you want to add uh, integer num that is uh, or we can say the number one two three in close into a single quotes then it is the integer so if you try to add then we already know that it will going to give you the error that uh, the operand supporter plus float and teaser so we are not able to add string with the integer data type or float data type so we need to first convert it to this uh, one two three string data type into an integer and then we will going to add yeah so we are going to total sum of 147.5 Second thing is that if you do not want it or want to add each of the number, you simply wanted to these uh, three number into a single string. So you can also do that by enclosing each of the number into a single quotes or double quotes or triple quotes and use the plus sign to add each of the string. Okay, so it will going to give you a single string with the all the three digits or numbers like 12 12.5 and 1 2 3 so that's how you are going to solve both of the problems so if you have still any questions related to 
both of the problems and then comment in comment section i will try to answer those queries if you like this video then click on like button and subscribe my channel so thanks for watching this video